So in this video, I'm going to be doing a demonstration, a lot of times called elephant's toothpaste. It is the catalyzed decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. And I have several um, graduated cylinders set up with it so that we can see how reaction rate varies according to a couple factors. So I have the balanced chemical equation up here. The hydrogen peroxide is going to be decomposing into water and oxygen gas. That's one of the keys that we'll be looking at to see how fast the reaction is going. This reaction happens gradually over time. If you buy hydrogen peroxide at a pharmacy or grocery store, you'll see it has an expiration date on it because over time it decomposes and ultimately you'll have a bottle of water with some oxygen in there. We can speed that decomposition up with a couple of different catalysts. Yeasts work or the one we'll be using is potassium iodide. What I have here are different concentrations or different combinations of the chemicals. In every one of the larger graduated cylinders is a certain amount of, is 90 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Um, there is also some red food coloring and there is also some dish soap. The dish soap is to help catch, to make it easier to observe how much oxygen gas there is because that's gonna bubble up and the dish soap will catch it. The differences we're gonna see here, the first hydrogen peroxide that we'll look at is 3%. And that's what you would be able to buy at the grocery store. That is normal and that's something you can put on your skin. The next one is quite a bit more concentrated. It's 10% hydrogen peroxide. And then all the way up here, we get to 30%. 30% hydrogen peroxide comes in a special bottle that's either an accordion bottle here or that has a special cap because as this decomposition happens over time, the oxygen gas can build up and the pressure can build up. In the first three, I have the same amount and same concentration of potassium iodide. It's all one molar. So we're gonna start with that, see how increasing the concentration of hydrogen peroxide with the same catalyst and the same amount of catalyst changes the rates of reaction. So I'll start with the 3%. So with 3% hydrogen peroxide, we're seeing just a little bit of bubbling as we start. And then as you look at it, you can start to see some foaming. We're not seeing a lot yet. I'm gonna bring this one a little closer because compared to the others that we'll observe, it's a much less intense reaction. So we are bubbling there and the soap is doing its job of catching it, but not a very intense reaction. When we go up to 10%, same catalyst. We let it go for a moment here and we see more bubbling. Let's check this out. It is bubbling up, 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 up. We can see that it's already in this short time catching up with, and it has passed the 3%. So the higher concentration of peroxide is producing that oxygen gas at a faster rate, and we're getting near the top to overflow. While that one's going, I'm gonna add the catalyst to the 30%. The 30% is already catching up and getting ready to pass. And there we go. A much higher concentration, much more of the peroxide in there, giving a much faster reaction. The difference that I have in these two to the right, it's still that same 30% hydrogen peroxide, but I've changed the concentration of my catalyst. The first three all had the same catalyst in the same amount, one molar. This first one, I'm going to use 0.1 molar. So one tenth as much of the catalyst, then I'm gonna use a really concentrated solution that's around six molar. So we've got some nice bubbling there that's continuing. In this one, I still have that 30%, but I'm using 10 times less in terms of the amount of potassium iodide catalyst. And as we look at it, it is a lot slower. It is kind of slowly bubbling up, I'll bring it closer because it's not gonna foam over at the beginning. And we notice that that reaction's really a lot closer to the one that we started with, more of a slow and steady as opposed to the more intense overflowing, making a mess ones. 
And then here, we're going to see our last one, the highest concentration of peroxide with the highest concentration of catalyst. And that one, we've got our big foaming bubbles here. It is even more intense and more quick than our 30% with the one molar. So we see the effect of the concentration of the chemical we're decomposing, the peroxide. We see the effect of the concentration of the chemical um, that's acting as the catalyst. And from that, we can use data or observations to know more about the rate law and connect that to the mechanism.